A little over four months ago, Bed Leveler 5000 was released and it quickly became a smash hit. Well, today, SM Makers is proud to announce a new version of Bed Leveler, which is going to change everything. Hey, what was that for? For those unfamiliar with Bed Leveler 5000, it's a fairly new utility poised to radically change how FDM printers are leveled and configured. Traditional bed leveling involves using paper or feeler gauges to determine the distance between a printer's build surface and its nozzle. The paper or feeler gauge is wiggled in between the bed and the nozzle to feel the amount of friction that is generated. However, this is error prone and it's often difficult to identify small differences in friction. Luckily, Bed Lover 5000 is different. It's a computer application that connects to your printer and uses your existing Z probe to directly determine height differences, and then it displays them numerically. These height differences can be used to manually adjust your printer's bed. Bed Lover 5000 also can create meshes, showing your bed's variance and if more adjustments are needed. Another key feature of Bed Lover 5000 is that it intentionally doesn't make any modifications to your computer or your printer, making it completely safe to use. And you can even use it off of a thumb drive if you wanted. Today, I'm happy to announce the release of a new version of Bed Lover 5000, which contains a host of new features and improvements. These include increased printer compatibility, new printer configurations, enhanced stability and error handling, updated and expanded documentation, and most importantly, a brand new ProBall feature. Let's run through each of these in a little more detail, saving the most important ProBall for last. ProBall is a significant new feature that will enhance the Bed Lover 5000 experience for everyone, no matter what printers you use. Significant printer compatibility enhancements have been made for this release. By frequent request, BL Touch and CR Touch probes are now fully supported in both Marlin and Clipper. Support for printers with a 250K baud rate serial connection has also been added, along with support for IDEX and other multi tool head printers. Lastly, significant effort was put into increasing support for different and customized versions of Marlin. Unlike the Moonraker connection used for clipper printers, the protocol used by Marlin isn't as standardized, resulting in small differences that needed to be accounted for. Along with enhanced printer compatibility, this release of Bed Lover 5000 introduces a number of new printer configuration files. The off requested Neptune 3 Pro and Neptune 4 configurations are finally available. Additionally, there's a Marlin simulator configuration if you ever wanted to play with the Marlin simulator. We have future videos planned to help walk you through setting up both the Marlin and Clipper simulators if you ever feel the itch to try them. An even bigger announcement is that Bed Lover 5000 now officially supports non elegu printers with the introduction of Artillery Sidewinder X3 Plus and Creality Ender 3 V2 configurations. There's two versions for the Sidewinder, one for Marlin and one for Clipper, but there's three for the Ender. In addition to the standard Marlin and Clipper configurations, there's a special version designed specifically for the latest official BL Touch enabled firmware directly from Creality. For some reason, the travel bounds are not set correctly in this firmware preventing a portion of the bed from being probed, including the right two screws. This special configuration is designed to probe the largest area possible without modifying the firmware or generating any travel out of bounds errors. If you're using Clipper or a custom build of Marlin, the two regular configurations are a better choice. This release also includes a number of system stability and error handling fixes and enhancements. While most of these improvements are either small or behind the scenes type changes, the highly visible relative positioning issue has been resolved. 
If you've tried manually probing points in bed level 5000 and the nozzle seems to move in the wrong direction and then you get an out of bounds error, you might have encountered this issue. Basically, both Marlin and Clipper printers can be controlled in both absolute or relative positioning modes. And while printers are almost always in absolute positioning mode, something seems to have changed with a handful of Neptune 4 series printers, causing them to be left in relative positioning mode. Bedlover 5000 has been updated to always ensure the printer is in absolute positioning mode. The online documentation available on GitHub has also been updated, it is now easier to use. Plus, there's now directions for macOS. Please note, currently the macOS build of Bedlover 5000 needs to be used and launched from the command line. If you try just clicking on the files with your mouse, it's not going to work. We finally made it to the main new feature, ProBall. With previous versions, the standard way to use Bedlover 5000 was to click on individual manual probe buttons, have the utility probe the bed, and make adjustments one screw at a time. While this works very well, and thousands of you have had great success, it can be a little annoying to always have to wait for a point to be probed before you can start probing another point, especially since probing all of the points without making any adjustments is relatively common. Well, today all of that changes with the introduction of the probe ball button. Now, anytime you want to probe all of the manual probe points, you only need to click a single button. ProBall automates probing all of the manual probe points in the order listed in the configuration file. Once all of the points have been probed, the results are neatly displayed. But that's not all for the feature. Since the main goal of manual bed leveling is to get all of the points to probe to roughly the same value, ProBall can also compare each probe result against the reference and include the deltas in the output. While the reference combo box can be used to select any manual probe point as the reference, Bedlover 5000 defaults to the first point which is not associated with a screw. For all bundled printer configurations, that is the home or center probe point. Taking inspiration and conventions from Clipper, ProBall can also provide adjustment recommendations instead of delta values. The options include time in the same format used by Clipper, turns, degrees, and radians. I'm not really sure why you would want to use radians, but it was easy to implement, so I added it. I find turns to be the most intuitive, so that's what I normally use. ProBall includes one other feature inspired by Clipper. While mostly for printer beds without fixed standoffs, you can force ProBall to only use clockwise or only use counterclockwise recommendations. Using this feature, the reference point will be selected based off of the probe values. However, fixed probe points will be skipped. This feature is mostly useful when there is a screw that you prefer not to adjust, maybe because it's been tightened as far as it will go. For my testing, I found combining both single point probing with ProBall provides the most efficient and effective way to level your printer's bed. I hope you'll agree. Well, that about wraps up the new BedLover 5000 features and capabilities. To support these changes, the format for the printer configuration files needed to change. And as a result, so did the printer info wizard. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're notified once our video describing the new changes to printer info wizard are available. Also, we have a slew of other videos in the pipeline I'm sure you're not going to want to miss. And if you really enjoy our channel, or you want to be a super supporter of Bedlover 5000, come join us over at Patreon.